Good morning. So today is the first official weekend of our the four schools only while for the night 2018 homecoming tour and we've got three schools going on today we've got olympia with dj d watts and tune selector we have windermere which is a big setup and you can check some of those things out at four schools only.com and that's with dj chevy b monica's gonna be running that crew and then i will be working st pete and we've got a lot of new things that we're trying out today we'll be trying whoopsie we're going to be trying out the Disco Scan lens from Pangolin on our X Laser Mobile Mercury, but we're going to be using Beyond versus Mercury today. And then I also have the Iris 3 wall from Blizzard. We're going to give that one a test drive today and see how great it looks along with the rest of the lighting and such. So take a look. Let's do this. So we are here and everything's looking good so far. Unfortunately, my technician, Chad, I was having some car issues, so he's running a little bit late, but the man's a trooper, he's making it work. I got Marcus and Amy unloading over here. And yeah, so we'll keep it going on gear at first. So today's hero of the day is Frank, who basically had us come in this way, so instead of coming all the way through the front, we are right up against it, just holding the doors open. This is beautiful. Not all heroes wear capes. All right, so this is a custom made disco mount or disco scan lens mount from X Laser. And the way that we do it is we're just gonna put that right there. Now, usually he says, you know, they can finish it and make it all black and pretty, but uh, I needed this right away. So, big props to X Laser and big props to Pangolin for being able to get this thing in as fast as they did because I ordered this last minute. So, we're there, good to go. And there it is the disco scan lens on a mobile beat mercury now this is going to allow me to pretty much do a 180 360 all the way around of stars this is going to look absolutely stunning the question is how we're going to mount it because if we mount it on the truss here then it's not going to be perfectly behind us and that's fine so we'll just hit this whole area all the way it's stuck right there that cross beam that well cross lift beam. it up there yeah. You have to oh, there there you go. yeah there you go oh i see these are the DT4000s from Global Trust for the F34. These are the eight point something foot truss pieces. And now we're gonna go ahead and hang. If you guys wanna come over here, we're gonna hang the uh, LED rigging bars for the Blizzard Iris 3 wall. So I've got Compi Show over here programmed right now, so we're doing good with that. And then I need to set the default. Got the disco scan lens over here. And uh, it's going all the way back there. All the way down to my DJ system. It is literally, and just to give you an idea, like here's here it is on my DJ system there. Okay, this has been an absolutely interesting day. On my end of things, everything was great. Uh, the LED wall, what happened is one of the panels is a little bit wonky and we were gonna make a four by three screen, which is fine. But then I thought, okay, let's do a 16 by nine and just set up, you know, one panel off. Well, then I realized dirt, I don't know how to do math. And the panel, if you do one panel off, it's not gonna look right. So we just put cut one panel off so it's like shaped like this. And it actually looks really cool. The client likes it. And we're gonna be able to have like the king and queen and stuff walk out from either side of it. It looks great. The disco scan is nothing short of awesome. The, the sheer brilliance of the Mercury from X Laser, the Moldy Mercury, uh, it is running on uh, Ildo and Beyond. But just the sheer brilliance of that laser coupled with the Pangolin disco scan lens just really creates an incredible effect that I know nobody else has done for a school dance, at least around here. So we're really stoked about that. And then the sound is just absolutely incredible. Okay, so we did not calculate the size of the, or the weight of the screen since it was now more panels. Bruh. The phone rings or something happens. Uh, there's, you know, more panels. So as we were cranking it up, you could hear a pop from the stands. And the DT4000s have a very unique way of telling you you're reloading them. And that is by them being way too hard to crank up. And then you just get that pop where it starts settling back in. Uh, great stands, I mean, they, you know, any other stand would have failed and crashed down on the floor. Uh, so again, it's just another thing to really 
calculate how much weight you're gonna pull every single time. And even though I give myself a little bit of safety ratio, I completely forgot. The bigger screen needed extra rigging bar, extra wiring, an extra stick of truss, all that adds a little bit of weight to it. So, you know, it's an important lesson to know. So that being said, Windermere High School, everything's going really great over there. The venue had an issue with the floor and it's an over the floor setup. So they had to keep lifting up that setup and moving it and, but everything's going. This crew is really working overtime. And then uh, Olympia High School, easy, two DJs at the Hard Rock, nothing to set up except their uh, soundboard and yeah, so we're good. Uh, so. At the very least, you get to check out St. Pete. Let's real quick take a look at the setup over here. You'll see there in just a moment. Look, look how beautiful that is, right? It's like, woo! Hey everybody, Ronaldo the Walkman here. Four schools only. We are at St. Pete's 2018 homecoming. I'm gonna redo that part again. I want to go like that, right? Hey everybody, Ronaldo the Walkman here of Four Schools Only. We are kicking off our 2018 Wild for the Night homecoming tour with three homecomings this weekend. Behind me is St. Pete's Homecoming. This is actually one of my favorite Club Extreme setups because we, or video explosion setups because we've changed it quite a bit. So the Club Extreme setup is our simple 16 to 20 feet of trussing. You've got some moving lights, you've got a nice centerpiece, and you've got these really bright floods. Sometimes we'll add uh, UV lights or strobes, all depending on the actual theme. But adding the video screen adds a whole different element. Now their theme this year was under, A Night Under the Stars. So rather than doing a rear projection screen, we decided we're gonna try out our new LED wall. So we gave it a try over here. We're really happy with how vivid the colors are and how great those visuals pop. Well, let's take it one step further on the visual part for the theme. We did our LED stars, which right now you can't really see because the lights are still on, but you can see the little moving stars on the pipe and drape. They also wanted that on the ceiling. And rather than projecting those on the ceiling, we used our laser scanner to do the stars across. Now we're doing a new add-on to our laser, laser called the Disco Scan Lens. Now the Disco Scan Lens is a special lens that you attach to the laser that gives you virtually 360 degrees of coverage. So we're literally able to go from here all the way there and then to the back, out to the front. So there's gonna be different star animations the entire time. We are running haze, which is very similar to fog, except it's not as asthmatic, doesn't smell, and it's a lot easier to see. So administration will be able to see what's going on on the dance floor, but you can still see the beams and everything in the air. For more information, check us out on the web at fourschoolsonly.com. Again, that's fourschoolsonly.com. This is St. Pete's Homecoming.
the camp, eating her lot, dropping the land, so yeah, I'm sorry, 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 I'm s
the J They cross you over Don't call your head Tonight, <laughs> tonight we uh, we played uh, Africa. That was <laughs> it went well. That was the thing. So that went over really well. This kid comes up and says, "Man, could you play Africa?" And Chad and I like, "Really, Africa?" And I'm like, "Yeah, my." I feel kind of I'm bad because like, he asked me before. I was like, "Yeah, dude, I didn't tell you." No, oh, man. Damn. And I was like, and I was like, "Dude, I'm I'm done taking requests for the memes." He's like, "Yeah, man, the memes." So we played it, and as you can see in the video, it went over pretty well. Um, yeah, Marcus killing on the video. Chad doing the lighting. There's so, an alarm going on or something. I don't I know. I was the DJ too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it went it went really well. So um, so I texted my other guys. I'm like, listen, Africa, Toto, play it. And apparently it went well. So very cool. That's uh, that's a little tip for you DJs there. The memes. Anyhow, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell, ding 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 ding, whatever. Have a great night and God you know bless. What to do. You do it. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Follow me on YouTube, even when you're sacrificing everything. Just do it. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.